Hello, and here is how you solve the Rubik's clock. Although I'm not, although I'm not using a Rubik's clock, I'm using the Shengshou magnetic clock. Uh, I think the best one is the Qi clock, but that's like some twenty-five quid, so I'm not doing that. But yeah, anyways, let's begin. First, what we want to do. Actually, I should explain fully what the clock is first. The clock is basically you know, the three by three face of nine clock faces. And on the other side, there is also a 3x3 face of 9 clock faces. The objective of this is to get every single dial on here, every single hand, pointing to the 12. See, it's highlighted in yellow there. That is our objective on both sides. So what we want to do first is make a cross. So we want to get these four, or one, two, three, four, five, these five, all pointing to the 12. And the way we do that is, okay... So we want to get the middle one to match with each one of these at a time. And you can see it's already matched with this one. So we're going to go for this one first. So what we want to do is push these top two pins down. And then when we turn these ones, only these two corners move. This edge doesn't move. And if we turn the bottom ones, everything down here moves. So we're going to match these two up. As you can see, they turn together now. We're going to match it up with this. Push these pins back up, then we can turn it back to the top, just to make sure everything's correct. Then what we can do is we can push these two pins down to stop this one moving. Take either this bottom one or this top one, just use this top one. Match up with the one on the left. Back up, make sure everything's correct. Yep. Push these two right ones down. Turn the left side to match up with this one over here. And now... We've done that. Before you turn over, because that's what we're going to do next, make sure this cross is all pointing towards the 12. Then we're going to turn over and do the same thing on the other side. So we're going to start by doing this bottom one. Match it up with that. And we're going to do the left one. Let's do the right one. Let's do the top one. Okay, there we go. Don't bother uh, putting it to the top. That's not going to be important for what we're about to do now. Now what we want to do... Actually, yeah, let's just do that to make sure everything's correct. Yeah, everything's correct. Now what we want to do is we want to match all of these to the corners. And the way we do that is... Um, you see, this one's already correct, so we don't have to worry about that one. But we're going to match everything to this one. So we want to make everything except this corner move. And the way that we do that is we put this one down next to it, and since everything around these three pins is going to move, this will not move. So if we just match everything up to that, make sure you only press one pin down, otherwise it will affect things on the other side that we don't want. We're going to match everything to now this one, so we push just this pin down, move any of the other three, to any of the other three dials around the edge, match it up, back up, and then last one, Put that one down, any of the other three, match it up, point everything upwards, and now everything should be solved. Now, I'm rather bad at clock. I, I don't profess to be an, any like anything special at clock, because I'm, I'm, I'm really not. So I'm, I'm just going to scramble this slightly and just... I don't think... I think something's... Okay. I'm going to give this a quick example, so just so you can see exactly what I do while I do it. Okay. I'm just going to and See, I told you I'm really bad at this. Oh, there we go. Uh... Oh, that's already matched. Oh, that's all already matched. Let's match to this one. Match to this one. Match to this one. Match to this one. And everything's done. Wait, that was only about 35 seconds. I'll take that. I think I got a fairly easy scramble. The cross on the back was, was very easy. Yeah. That's what you do.
thank you very much for watching uh if you have any other questions about clock or there's anything you're not sure of just uh leave it down below and yeah make sure to keep make sure you keep the first cross pointing upwards otherwise it will not work but yeah thank you very much for watching i'll see you in the next one have a nice day